What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AO Modern Ride. Don't worry about it. I caught it up on the couch for my pillow because I need a little arm rest. I'm in the chat. Hope you guys are doing good. My hair look a little rough. Let me do my white. Let me do my Jake pose. That's my Jake boy. You know, I got I to gotta flip my hair on my face. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing right here. I'm doing all right today. We are back with another reaction video or requested video, that is. The difference between the United Kingdom, Great Britain, and England. I asked y'all, um, what it is and you guys give me this link and tell me to go watch it so i was like all right bet so i'm gonna watch it but so thank you for the person who wait is that wrong thank you for the person who shared a link y'all know what that means that's the life gang as always forever all right but with that being said let's get into the video and see what's up let's learn welcome to the united kingdom and a whole lot more explained by me cgp greg the united kingdom england great britain are these three the same place are they different places do british people see that they laugh at those who use the terms incorrectly who knows the answers to these questions i do and i'm going to tell you right now for the lost this is the world this is the european i don't feel comfortable i don't feel comfortable the reason why i don't feel comfortable with this video this nigga's american this i i don't know it's just me being racist but I would like to have a British person. That's like me saying, hey, maybe some, no, no, no disrespect. No disrespect. But I prefer to have my sweet and sour chicken or my orange chicken made by the people who invented it, right? I refuse to have information being told to me by somebody who's not from the country. But I'm going to watch it. And just let me know in the comment section if this nigga accurate or not. All right? Let's see. And this is the place we have to untangle. The area shown in purple is the United Kingdom. Part of the confusion is that the United Kingdom is not a single country, but instead is a country of countries. It contains inside of it four co-equal and sovereign nations. The first of these is England, shown here in red. England is often confused with the United Kingdom as a whole because it's the largest and most populous of the nations and contains the de facto capital city, London. To the north is Scotland, shown in blue, and to the west is Wales, shown in white. And, often forgotten even by those who live in the United Kingdom, is Northern Ireland, shown in orange. Each country has a local term for the population. While you can call them all British, it's not recommended as the four countries generally don't like each other. The Northern Irish, Scottish, and Welsh regard the English as slave-driving colonial masters. No matter that all three have their own devolved parliaments and are allowed to vote on English laws, despite the reverse not being true, and the English generally guard the rest as rural yokels who spend too much time with their sheep. However, as the four constituent countries don't have their own passports, they are all British citizens, like it or not. They are British citizens of the United Kingdom, whose full name, by the way, is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So where's Great Britain hiding? Right here. The area covered in black is Great Britain. Unlike England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, Great Britain is a geographical rather than a political term. Great Britain is the largest island among the British Isles. Within the United Kingdom, the term Great Britain is often used to refer to England, Scotland, and Wales alone with the intentional exclusion of Northern Ireland. This is mostly, but not completely true, as all three constituent countries have islands that are not part of Great Britain, such as the Isle of Wight, part of England, the Welsh Isle of Anglesey, the Scottish Hebrides, the Shetland Islands, the Auckland Islands, and the Islands of the Clyde. The second biggest island in the British Isles is Ireland. It's worth noting at this point that Ireland is not a country, like Great Britain is a geographical, not political term. The island of Ireland contains on the two countries, Northern Ireland, which we have already discussed, and the Republic of Ireland. When people say they are Irish, they are referring to the Republic of Ireland, which is a separate country from the United Kingdom. However, both the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom are members of the European Union, even though England in particular likes to pretend that it's an island in the Mid-Atlantic rather than 50 kilometers. Man, and bro, 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 you're, you're talking too quick, man. Because I still don't know the freaking difference, bro. I understand the basics. BFS forever, US and, okay, England is BFF. No, no, yeah, England and the United States, they buddies. Okay, cool another time. To review, the two largest islands in the British Isles are Ireland and Great Britain. Ireland has on the two countries, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, while Great Britain mostly contains three, England, Scotland, and Wales. These last three, when combined with Northern Ireland, form the United Kingdom. There are still many unanswered questions, such as why when you travel to Canada, is there British royalty on the money? To answer this, we need to talk about empire. You can't have gone to school in the English-speaking world without having learned that the British Empire once spanned a fourth of the world's land and governed nearly a fourth of the world's people. While it's easy to remember the parts of the British Empire that broke away violently, we often forget how many nations gained independence through diplomacy and bloodshed. These want to be nations struck a deal with the Empire, where they continue to recognize the monarchy as the head of state in exchange for a local autonomous parliament. To understand how they are connected, we need to talk about the crown. Not the physical crown that sits behind glass in the Tower of London and earns millions of tourist pounds for the UK, but the crown is a complicated legal entity best thought of as a one-man corporation. Who created this corporation? God did. According to British tradition, all power is vested in God, and the monarch is crowned in a Christian ceremony. God, however, not wanting to be bothered with micromanagement, conveniently delegates his power to an entity called the Crown. While this used to be the physical crown in the Tower of London, it evolved over time into a legal corporation sole, able to be controlled only by the ruling monarch. 
It's a useful reminder that the United Kingdom is still technically a theocracy, with the reigning monarch acting as both the head of state and the supreme governor of the official state religion, Anglicanism. Such are the oddities that arise when dealing with a thousand-year-old monarchy. Back to Canada and the rest. The former colonies that gained their independence through diplomacy and continue to recognize the authority of the crown are known as the Commonwealth realm. They are, in decreasing order of population, Canada, Australia, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, Jamaica, the Solomon Islands, Belize, the Bahamas, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis and Tuvalu. Say it, say it. All are independent nations, but still recognize Bitch. the monarchy as the head of state, even though it has little real power within their borders. There are three further entities that belong to the Crown, and these are the Crown Dependencies, the Isle of Man, Jersey, and Guernsey. Unlike the Commonwealth realm, they are not considered independent nations, but are granted local autonomy by the Crown and British citizenship by the United Kingdom. Though the UK does reserve the right to overrule the laws of their local assemblies. Are we done now? Almost, but not quite. There are still a couple of loose threads, such as this place, the tiny city of Gibraltar on the southern coast of Spain, famous for its rock, its monkeys, and for causing diplomatic tension between the United Kingdom and Spain. Or what about the Falkland Islands, which caused so much tension between the United Kingdom and Argentina that they went to war over them? These places belong in the last group of crown properties known as British Overseas Territories, but their former name, Crown Colonies, gives away their origin. They are the last vestiges of the British Empire. Unlike the Commonwealth realm, they have not become independent nations and continue to rely on the United Kingdom for military and sometimes economic assistance. Like the Crown Dependencies, every Everyone born within their borders is a British citizen. The Crown Colonies are, in decreasing order of population, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, the Turks and Caicos. Tc, TCI boy, big up yourself, bro. Hey, yo, fuck. Hey, what, what the flag is? The, the flag right here? That's the flag? Talks and cakes, boy. What you mean, bro? TCI. Hey, hey. Hey, stop playing with me, boy. Stop. Y'all ain't want me to start flexing, bro. Y'all, 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 y'all getting me tight. Y'all getting me tight. Let's, let's run that back. You run that back. Hold on. Run that back. Plans economic assistance. Like the Crown Dependencies, everyone born within their borders is a British citizen. The Crown Colonies are, in decreasing order of population, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, the Turks and Caicos Islands, Gibraltar, the British Virgin Islands, Ecuatoria and Dekelia, Anguilla, St. Helena, the Ascension Islands, Tristan de Cunha, Montserrat, the British Indian Ocean Territory, the South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands, the Falkland Islands, the British Antarctic Territory, and the Pitcairn Islands. For our final Venn diagram, the United Kingdom is a country situated on the British Isles and is part of the Crown which is controlled by the monarchy. Also part of the Crown and the British Isles are the Crown Dependencies. The independent nations of the former empire that still recognize the Crown are the Commonwealth realm, and the non-independent remnants of the former empire are the British I just realized how fucking long Darcy Thank you for watching. <laughs> I mean, long as shit. Bro, listen. I hear what you say, right? I still don't understand what's going on, because why? You talking so freaking fast, my guy. Bro. I hope you're not a teacher, because if you're a teacher, yeah, everybody in your class might fail. Because my nigga, I, I, I struggle to pay attention. I'm like, okay, wait, hold up. The crown. Wait, no, wait, no, no. Great Britain. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Wait, no. Ireland. Wait, wait. Was it different between Northern Ireland and Ireland? Is it Ireland overall? No, no, no. Okay, wait. Okay, okay. So, who is Irish? Okay, so would you say that the Northern Ireland is Ireland? Wait, no. Hold up. Okay, but then we go back to Wales. What is Wales? Wales. Okay, okay, hold up. But how come this... Okay, okay. How come Great Britain is... How come Wales isn't considered Great Britain? But how come... Um, what's the top part? Um... I'm Northern Ireland, Wales, and oh gosh, I forget the northern part. Scotland? Yeah, Scotland. Wait, is it? Yeah, Scotland. So how come Scotland is considered to be part of Great Britain, but not Wales? If they all connect to them? Okay, what about? Okay, okay. Now we get back to the crown. Now, okay, okay. What does Queen? What does the Queen have to do with the whole the whole situation? Okay, what's the Queen have? Does she really have a crown like this? Okay, where does her crown go? Okay, how come I never see how we have a crown? Where is the crown? Okay, so the crown isn't an actual physical thing. The crown is from God. But who said God? Who? 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 How do you know God gave this particular person the crown? Okay, now back to now to overseas territory. Okay. Okay, Tyson Gakers, shout out Tyson Gakers. We're overseas territory, but how come there's so much of us? How come we can't just become out independent? Why we aren't independent? But when, we are, when are we going to become independent? Okay, how about that? Okay, okay, Commonwealth. You said Jamaica. Okay, so I'm guessing that Commonwealth countries are countries that under Great Britain once upon a time, but now are independent, but not independent. Do they still have to follow the Great Britain laws? Well, why do they have to follow Great Britain laws? Why are the United States and Common United States and uh, uh, um, England so, so frenzy, frenzy? Are they plotting against the world? That's how the nigga sound to me. And I don't know what I just said. All I know is I pick keywords and I throw it inside me and I make it make it sound like sense. Bro, slow down. It ain't that serious, alright? But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Run the road to 1,000 subscribers. Help your boy get there. Show your boy some love. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed. Remember, the world is yours. Peace.